Hello again and welcome. In this week's episode, we are going to continue our series on learning Hammerspoon by learning how to install spoons in a more effective, efficient, and easier manner. So let's get started. In the last episode, we learned about spoons and how to download and install them and use them. To that effect, you may remember we use this circle clock spoon, which is still running and gives us a nice clock on the desktop. Now, you would uh, need normally to download and install the spoons by hand, but let me show you an easier way to do this. And let me show you the last spoon that you will ever have to download and install by hand. We come here to the Hammer Spoon Spoons page and Again, we have the huge list of spoons, and we are looking today for this one called Spoon Install. This is a spoon that I wrote and which allows you to do declarative installation and configuration of other spoons. And therefore, uh, you can automate uh, the whole process. So, of course, we need the spoon to be able to do all this. So, we still need to download and install this one spoon by hand. We click on the resulting spoon file, and then Hammerspoon tells us that the spoon is installed. Now, how do we use it? Let's start by here at the top of our configuration file, loading it as we would any other uh, spoon, spoon install. Once we have the spoon installed, we can use it <clears throat> to load and uh, and configure other spoons. So instead of doing this with the circle clock spoon, we would be able to say spoon, spoon install and use. And then we simply say circle clock. Now, this may look longer, but you will see in a moment that if the spoon that we want is not installed yet, it will also be downloaded and we can also configure it. We'll come to that in a moment. So now let's save our file, restart Hammerspoon again, and we got an error. Okay, of course, I used the wrong variable name here. It's called spoon, not spoons. This is a special variable under which all spoons are installed. You may notice that <clears throat> if an error occurs, in your Hammerspoon config, you will automatically get the console displayed and it will show you the error message that was produced. This is a very useful debugging tool when you're creating your configuration. So let's try this again. Let's reload the configuration. And now it all worked. Hammerspoon is started again. Our circle clock spoon is here as usual. And um, Let's do something else. Let's come back here to the list of spoons and let's try to um, find one that is actually useful. Like for example, this one, window half and thir halves and thirds. This is another spoon that allows us to do window manipulation and which has some very useful, uh, very useful uh, configuration options that we can use. Looking here at the API key, we can see it has a set of default hotkeys that can be mapped to different window manipulation options. So let's do this. Let's uh, install and configure this particular spoon. Now we come here and we say spoon, spoon install and use window halves and thirds. And we need to give it some configuration options. In particular, we are going to say hotkeys equals default. And this automatically will map, will map this default configuration, uh, these default hotkeys for the window manipulation options. So let's see if everything looks correct. And now let's restart Hammerspoon again. We see Hammerspoon started. We also see that spoon installed by spoon install, it's now available. And we can simply test it. Um, for example, control command left, 
is the key that is mapped to resize the current window to the left side of the screen or the right side, top half, bottom half, left third, middle third, right third. There's all sorts of window manipulation uh, operations that we can uh, do with this uh, window halves and thirds spoon. These are all described here and you can look at the configuration of the of the spoon the whole documentation is here you can see all the options that uh, that it has and i hope you've seen that by using now the spoon install uh, spoon it's a lot easier to just play with spoons that you want to take a look at let's just do another one real quick let's try one which is called here calendar there is one calendar inset into the desktop this is a simple one has also no api but we can simply instead of downloading simply say spoon spoon install and use calendar let's take a look here nothing on our desktop we restart hammer spoon restarts installs the spoon and the calendar is now here in the bottom right corner of our desktop. Thank you again for your attention. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you want to learn more, please visit LeanPop and check out my book, Learning Hammerspoon, where you will find a lot more information, tips and tricks for automating things on your Mac. Thank you and have fun.